All right, so for this example, uh, I'm asked to resolve the force shown below into a force and a couple about point A. So we've got a 5 kilonewton force acting 55 degrees from vertical uh, at the end of a 0.6 meter long beam. So I want to find the force and the moment acting at this point A over here that is statically equivalent to my original setup. Uh, so for that, first thing I'm going to do is redraw my beam. So if I take point A, draw my beam like this, I'm going to have my 5 kilonewton force out here. Uh, and I know that that is 55 degrees from vertical. All right, so about point A, first thing I'm going to do to visualize this whole thing is draw in my two equal and opposite forces. So I draw in a force like this, that is the same magnitude, same direction as my original force, and I draw one that is exactly opposite of that. So now I've got uh, two of these forces, this original force here and this one that is equal and opposite form a couple. And so I need to find the moment of that couple. And so to do that, it's going to be the force, so 5 kilonewtons, times the perpendicular distance between the two. So this is the uh, biggest part of this problem, is finding out this perpendicular distance. So to do this, we're going to use a right triangle. So I know that one arm of my triangle here, it's 0.6 meters long. Um, if I draw another arm kind of going parallel to this force, uh, I know the perpendicular distance is going to be the shortest distance. So I've got a right triangle here. Uh, I can figure out if this is 55 degrees from vertical, this is going to be uh, 35 degrees here. And now I've got enough in my triangle. Uh, I've got the opposite side. This is D, this is my perpendicular distance over here. Uh, and that is going to be equal to 0.6, my hypotenuse of my triangle, times sine 35 to get the opposite side. So D is going to be equal to 0.6 times sine of 35 degrees. And so the moment in this whole couple, uh, we can also think about the direction. Uh, it'll tend to rotate this way. It's going to be a negative moment. So this whole thing is also going to be negative like that. So if I solve this all out, the moment of my couple should be equal to about negative 1.72, and my units are going to be kilonewton meters. So I can start replacing some of these things. Uh, I get rid of those two forces that served as my couple. So my original force, it kind of disappears. Uh, as well as the equal and opposite force. Uh, so the equal and opposite force was this one on the bottom here. So I'm left with that 5 kilonewton force, and I draw in uh, the moment of my couple, negative 1.72. So a negative moment is going to be going this way. Draw it in like this. M equals negative 1.72 kilonewton meters. And I can finally draw in the direction again. Uh, since this one can go in the same direction, it's going to be 55 degrees from vertical. So with that, I'm left with a single force and a single moment that are equivalent to my original scenario over here. Uh, now I've resolved my force into a force and a couple uh, about point A. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.